This conference will now be recorded. So I'm ex I expected to create a, a class which covers different methods. One method will should supposed to be accept the customer details. Second method is supposed to be display the customer details, what are you entered. And third method is supposed to be useful for a withdraw and fourth method for deposit. So I did anyone tried this one? On a single class? Or mul no, multiple man. classes? Okay, no, just try man. it. So no. here, what I did here is I just created a class called customer and he has he or she has multiple functionality so i just created an as a methods so this is one type of uh, program representation or you can create in a multiple classes as well that is a different scenario so since with the deposit customer is entering and displaying everything is a, nothing but a function for, a, for if you're going to any organization like any bank so that is the reason I created under different methods. Just think once why I'm asking you to think and create your own program in a sense. You will come to know how to write a program. Nothing but logic, I mean to say. So we discussed about static variable and non-static variables. Today we'll try to understand constructors. Constructors in Python programming. So the program to access the static variable, non static variable outside of the class, we discussed already. So how to call how to call a static variable outside of the class? Any clue? Did we discussed? Either within the class or outside of the class, if it's a static variable, we have to prefix with class name. So you can see here A equal to 4.5, B equal to 2.6. And these two variables are created under class and outside of the method. So we consider it as a static variable. If I want to call this data A and B, I have to prefix with class name just an example i have an non static variable nothing but the variables are created within the class and within the method within the method only i created self dot x and self dot five self is the prefix where the object id indirect id has been stored that object id self will be passed to the variable and you can able to call this 10 outside of the class if you want to be called the same variable x and y i cannot able to use self i have to use the object so the sample is the class which is which is in, the instance has been created with reference of the object called s1 so going forward if i want to call nsvs now now static variables you have to prefix with the object object dot x variable or object dot y variable so you, if it's a class in within the within the method or outside of the class you can able to prefix with class name if it's a non static variable within the method you can use self outside of the class you can use object in case if you're trying to use self dot x or self dot y outside of the class system is going to be show an error is it clear This is not a constructor. This still is a non static variable and non static variable. Now, from this slide, we are entering to some constructors. <coughs> constructor is a special kind of method which is using to in initialize the non static variables of a class at the time of creation of this creation of the object so earlier what i am doing here is in the previous slide i have to create an object x1 equal to sample then i need to call the method s1.display 
after calling a method then i can after calling a method only the uh, nsvs are going to be initialized before call, before calling this method nsvs are not going to be created are are you accepting that let me show you Right. Which method I created here? Display now. So A is equal to static variable. B equal to non-static variable. Are agreeing with that? Now S1 equal to sample object creation created. Now when you see here, object is created. Object is created. Now print sample dot a. So prefix with a class name and a variable is created variable called now 10 has been displayed now print i just explained you outside of the class if you want to be called nsvs then i have to prefix with object name or reference variable name so s1 dot b now i will get an error sample object has no attribute b the reason is before calling any nsvs i supposed to be called display so this execution has to be there that means s1 dot display if i use s1 dot display then the initialization for your nsvs will be there so now method call is there correctly no yes soon only okay bear and print Another call is coming. Okay, anyway. So one one quick information to you is three point eight has some issues. So install three point seven and work with that, you will find a proper logic. Though your syntaxes are correct, sometimes the error will be there. So better install 3.7, which is a stable version, and 3.8 has some issues. So the issues how I'm getting right now, you may get it in future. So install 3.7 and work with that, not with 3.8. So when I start working with uh, 3.8, I realized there is some issues. Though syntactically you're right, but the errors may be there. You can see here the same logic. So A equal to 4.5, B equal to 2.6, and S1 equal to sample, S1 dot display for initializing the non-static variables. Now the values are allocated and stored in the object. So the display, what are the values you have, like uh, X and Y values will be stored into the object. And when you say print S1 dot X and print S1 dot Y, system automatically display the values because this, the x and y values are stored in s1 and s, s1 object 
hope you are clear what I'm trying to say. Now what happened here in the sense, every time I need to give the initialization of display, then only I can able to access X and Y values. If I'm not giving the display, the line, the system is showing an error. To avoid this or to overcome from this situation, and I want to access the NSVs without giving the line of display, then I have an option called constructor. Are you able to hear me? So the constructor is nothing but a special kind of method which is using to initialize the non-static variables of a class at the time of creation of the object. So properties of constructor is constructors are using to initialize an NSVs of a class during the object creation. So here there are two not required to give two steps. One S1 equal to sample. The next step is S1 dot display. When I give these two steps, then only the NSVs can be accepted. So in S1 equal to sample, the address is going to be create. S1 dot display, the NSVs, non-static variable data, will be stored in S1 object or reference variable object. So not required to give the second step called S1 dot display because of constructor. So constructors are executed automatically when whenever the object is created. So that means if you have n number of methods within the class, if you are using a constructor for any method, the particular method values will be stored in object automatically. But normal normal methods we need to call using an object. So in case if you have two methods, one is a DEF display within the class called sample, another, another method called DEF uh, print, and out of these two, one is a constructor, one is a normal method. For the normal method, you have to give S1 dot uh, display. In case if the display is a normal method, S1 dot display. You have to initialize that one manually. If it's a constructor, not required to give manual option. It's automatic. For an object, constructor will be executed only once because only one will be only once it is going to be initialized. So how to create a constructor means construct should be always defined with the name of dev underscore underscore init underscore underscore open and close bracket. So this is the way you're going to create your own constructor. Now in place of display, what you're saying def display when you're creating a method def display and bracket self just you're renaming with def underscore underscore init underscore underscore in bracket you can give self. So the self is going to be called the address indirect address of the object and underscore underscore init underscore underscore is nothing but a constructor parameter. So system automatically execute this parameter nothing but method and passing the pick up the values of your non static variable and store it in object. Now you can see here. Difference between methods and constructors. Methods name can be anyone. So I can give DF display, DF sample, DF A, DF B, any name I can give. There is no limitation and there is no restrictions. But when I come into constructor, the name should be I, the underscore underscore init underscore underscore when you want to be called automatically, not manually. So this is the name we have to give. Methods are used to represent the business logic to perform operations. So whenever you want a method to be executed, then you can for a business operation purpose, you can do, for example, DEF withdraw, DEF uh, deposit, DEF transfer, when you're coming to bank operations. So for any operation, you can create a method, but used to initialize the NSVs of the class. For example, one method, you have only the NSVs and you don't have any kind of operations, then no need to call that method manually. So convert as a constructor, those NSVs automatically stored in your object. Are you getting the difference between constructor and uh, method? When you have business logic, will not suggest to go for constructor. When you have NSVs, then we suggest to go for constructor. 
method will be executed whenever we make a method call using an object so s1 dot display s1 dot uh, withdraw s1 dot deposit s1 dot transfer whenever you call that function or method then only the particular method will be executed but when i come into constructor it will be executed automatically whenever you create an object so s1 equal to sample open and close bracket so when you call the class automatically this constructor will be executed and that is only once it's not a multiple time so with represent of one object one method can be called n number of times so you can see here the example s1 dot display s1 dot display s1 dot display s1 dot display 100 times i can call the same method whenever i want so n number of times but when i come to constructor it can be called only once the differences you understand between the constructor and method any questions on these four points no ma constructors are two types one is a default constructor a constructor without any parameter and second one is parameterized constructor a constructor with parameter so we'll see both with parameter and without parameter so the first example which i'm showing is without parameter default one default constructor so you can see here class class name nothing but sample df underscore underscore init underscore underscore in bracket self so why i'm giving self when i'm creating an object the class address indirect address will be stored in object that address will be passed to the self and because of the self system is go that self address is going to be called the within the method or a constructor information so right now df underscore underscore init underscore underscore self is nothing but a constructor is nothing but a constructor now print constructor of sample class so just i'm giving some information to be information to display self dot x equal to 10 self dot y equal to 10 so these two are non static variables and since these two variables comes under constructor whenever i create an object s1 equal to sample this x and y will be initialized not not required to give s1 dot underscore underscore init underscore underscore not required to give that one system automatically store these values into object directly i can call this variables hope you are clear yes sir so but there is another method this is just a method not a constructor so df display self so it's a method print method of the class name so the first one is a constructor and second is a method print self dot x and print self dot y now if you see here i just stored the values in the constructor and i display the values in display so what i'm doing is i want to call this method by using a display i want to call the call values but the values are stored in object so you can see here s1 equal to sample so the object is created s1 ob s1 object is created with reference of cl uh, class called sample so whenever the object is created the constructor executed automatically that means the x value and y value are stored in a s1 object now print s1 dot x print s1 dot y system is going to display these two values clear any questions no no and similarly if you want to call second method called display method i mean method uh, display method you have an option to call s1 dot display then s1 dot display multiple times you can call but the previously the constructor you cannot able to call that is automatically displayed only once for one object one time only so s1 dot display s1 dot display the system is going to be called two times method of sample class values 10 and values 20 and again second time i have display so again the three steps will be displayed method of the sample class uh, 10 and 20 so that is going to be displayed and again i'm i'm storing the sample value sample class in another object called s2 so system is going to 
do the same repetition steps what I did for S1. So how many times you store the, uh, I mean, you refer the class to different objects, those number of times the constructor is going to be created. So in indirect way, as a thumb rule, number of objects equal to number of time the, ex the constructor is going to be executed. If you have a single object, one time the constructor will execute. If you have 10 objects, 10 times the constructor is going to be executed automatically. If you have n number of objects, n number of times the constructor is going to be executed. Clear? But display is not like that. How many number of times you want, you can enable display it. Modifying the non static variables when you have constructors. When you have a static variable, we don't have any problem because that, that is outside of the method. Directly, you can, you can save it. But modifying non static variables in the sense, we have to follow some steps. <coughs> and whenever you're feeling that uh, your syntax is right and still you're getting an error better to use 3.7 not 3.8 version in a 3.7 you're not finding syntax issue or modules or package issues but in 3.7 you're going to sorry 3.8 you're going to find it Now you can see here. Modifying the non-static variables. Class sample. First one is constructor. DF underscore underscore INIT underscore underscore self. So it's a constructor. Print constructor of the sample class. S yes, self dot X equal to 10. Self dot Y is going to be 20. So when I'm calling first time the class to any object, system is going to store the x value as a 10 and y value as a 20 as initial values now df display self method print print method of the class self dot x equal to self dot x plus 30 self dot y equal to self dot y plus 50. after modifying the values i'm using self don't forget x value is within the method only not outside of the class within the method only i'm using self dot x equal to self dot x plus 30 self dot y equal to 50 and storing back to the same position and print x and print y now what i'm doing in the sense s1 equal to sample so sample class i'm assigning to an object or a reference variable to s1 so when i when i refer to s1 system automatically initialize this constructor so constructor of the sample is there very good now print s1.x and print s1.y system is going to display 10 and 20 so 10 and 20 is there s1 dot display so system is going to be initialized the method called display and within that whatever i have the print options will be there so method method from the class method of the class the next step what system will do is system is going to take the old value of x 10 and add 30 to that and store it back to x and similarly y value was 20 20 plus 50 70 will be stored back to y then print x and y value so 40 and 70. very good 40 and 70 i have it now again one more time I did display function. So when I did display function, it was 40 and 70. So 40 and 70 become as 70 and 120. Undisplayed that values. Is it clear? How many times you do display? Those are the number of times the NSV modifications will happen. 
Any questions? Giri and Amni. No, no. Now again, I'm printing S2 object. So S2 is another object. I'm just I'm just calling sample for class one second. So sample class is called referred to S1 and sample two sample class is again calling to S2 object also. But if it's a static variable, the revised values will be there. But if, since these are non-static variables, the revised values will not be there. It will start from the fresh initialization. Nothing but x is L10 and y equal to 20. You can see here. When you call s2.x and s2.y, system is going to take it from the scratch again. So for each object, the values will start from starting number, not from the revised numbers. In case if these are static variables, not a non-static variables, then it will call from 70 and 120. Hope you're clear. Because those are outside of the method and applicable for all the objects. If it's a, if it's a non-static variables, those are object dependent. Now, static variables are not object dependent. Those are ob those are class dependent. Hope you are getting the differences. Yeah, All type of variables we can able to use it in a constructor means yes we can use it. You can see here local we discussed about local variables, global variables, static variables, and non-static variables. Before coming to the class, we discussed about local and global. And after coming to the classes, our OOPS concept, we just started discussing about static and non-static variables. So these are the four variables you can find out in any programming language. I mean to say Python programming language for completing your logic. Now let us try to understand four variables in single program. So x equal to 10. x equal to 10 is the variable x I created outside of the class. So we consider it as a global variable. Then I'm defining my own class called class test. And y equal to 20. y equal to 20 is created within the class and outside of the method. So it is a static variable. Clear? Now, df display. It is a method in bracket self comma p. So method, it is going to be called the address of the object or nothing but reference variable and I'm going to call a local variable p self dot z equal to p so local variable p value is going to be stored in a non static variable called z now self dot w w is a non static variable equal to global variable x plus test dot y is nothing but a static variable plus self dot z the value whatever I stored in Z value that is going to be nothing but non static variable plus the local variable. Now print X value global variable test dot Y static variable P value local variable local variable why I'm using local variable means that is applicable only for the method self dot Z non static variable self dot W static non static variable. Now T1 equal to test so the class I am I'm storing into I'm initializing with the help of t1 object nothing but t1 reference variable t1 dot display in bracket 30 nothing but p value so t1 dot display is nothing but a method I'm calling and p is nothing but 30 I'm giving I'm just passing 30 now print x so system is going to display 10 print test dot y system is going to display 20 test is nothing but a class dot y is nothing but 20 print t1 dot jet what it will system will show will it show or will it not show it will it show error or will it not show error you tell me it will show um, it will show the reason is you already called display option t1 dot display you already called and you are trying okay. to ask, call the z value with the help of t1 reference variable or a t1 object so it will show the t1 it will show as 30 
and t1 dot w is nothing but the sum of four three va four values it will be show the value when i'm trying to print the p value it will not be show because that is going to be a default argument for display and this is not a local this is, this is not going to be non static variable or static variable or global variable this is local variable cannot be displayed outside of your method so you the only one variable which you can able to print with the help of method only is local variable outside of the method you cannot print your local variables so if you say print p system will show an error any questions how to access four different variables in single program now i hope you understand how to what are the differences between one variable to other variable at least another example class student and i have df one constructor is created i am accepting the student information like student name student roll number student branch and student rank when you display the system is going to display the information print enter the student details so i just given the, the first line as an outcome as enter the student information s1 dot s1 equal to student so when i start creating an object s1 or reference variable system automatically initialize the init and system is trying to show the in, asking the inputs of name roll number branch and rank but print s1 dot name so s1 dot name is nothing but the student name then s1 dot roll number s1 dot branch s1 dot rank so you can able to see the information but if you want to see all the information all together then call this method s1 dot display system is going to display all the information let me show you <clears throat> sorry okay I'll close this now you can see here print enter the student details it, this based on the indentation this line is outside of the class so system automatically showing this one as enter the student details now s1 equal to student so the object s1 is created and within the class student class there is one one constructor that information started executed so self dot name equal to input of enter student name so system is asking the student name so i'm entering as amar and system is asking the second input called student roll number so you can see give the roll number and branch and rank now after entering the branch under rank under rank system is what we are trying to do is print s1 dot name so within the constructor there is a uh, name option which is stored the name of the student so yes by since i'm accessing outside of the class so s1 dot name so system is going to display amar now s1 dot display system is started displaying the student details like name roll number branch and rank you can see all the information after finish that i'm uh, i'm uh, trying to access the same method constructor with the help of different object to store the diff different student details so s2 dot student print s2 dot name and s2 dot display so similar functionality will be repeated again so student is giri and roll number is one and branch is mba and rank is one you can see the same information is repeated so same constructor and same method i can call two different objects and constructor is going to be called only once and methods can be called 100 times or n number of times hope you're clear what i'm trying to say any questions on constructors no, no. that is the default the concept whatever i explained you so, so far those are default constructor and we need to think about there is another type of constructor that's called parameterized constructor 
so is it fine can i continue or you want me to stop giriya namne you can continue tomorrow amar <laughs> okay fine <laughs> one more week amar